What's going on Island Hoppers today? We're coming to you from New York City. We're gonna do a travel guide all around this beautiful big metropolis. Let's do it. New York City truly is a mega city of mass proportion. You've got Brooklyn, Queens, Bronx, Manhattan, Staten Island. We're gonna show you guys all those boroughs in this here travel guide. So if you guys want a full spectrum of all of that across New York City, you're gonna to wanna to watch this travel guide. All right, guys, we've arrived here at the Battery. If you look way out here, you'll be able to see the Statue of Liberty. Let's see if we can see it. The Battery is a 25-acre public park that faces south towards the New York Harbor, and to the west is the Hudson where New Jersey is. This area right here where the Battery is, is essentially the inlet point for the whole of massive New York City from Manhattan all the way to Jersey City all the way to Brooklyn across the way to the east and when I'm not getting a beer and some oysters I'm coming here to take the boat the ferry boat over towards the Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island because this here is where you catch that ferry boat All right, guys, here we are at Castle Clinton. This is where you come to get the tickets to go out to Ellis Island, which is where Statue of Liberty is. $23.50 per ticket, and uh, the Statue of Liberty is a historical place, not just because of the statue, but also because that's where the immigrants from around the world were being processed through Ellis Island. Now, just a heads up, when you do head out to the Statue of Liberty, they do take you through a very strict security screening. So on this day, when you go out to the Statue of Liberty, try to limit the electronics and equipment that you're gonna bring, because like I said, the security screening to get out there is quite strict. Now the ferry ride to get out there is about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how high the seas are. So do be also conscious of that. Now the island where the Statue of Liberty is actually located is called Liberty Island. Right beyond that towards New Jersey is actual Alice Island where they did process the immigrants before they were coming into the United States. Now this massive sculpture that's a statue made out of copper was actually a gift from the people of France to the United States and it was actually designed by Frederick Auguste Bartholdi and the metal framework was actually built by Gustave Eiffel. Yes, the same Eiffel from the Eiffel Tower. And this here statue was dedicated on October 28, 1886. Now when you come out here, there is a bit more to do than just oogle and ogle over the Statue of Liberty in and of itself because there's actually a Statue of Liberty Museum that can teach you some more about the history than I'm telling you here in this travel guide. Now on this ferry boat, when you do go to Liberty Island, afterwards they also take you over to Ellis Island where you can see what happened there with the immigrant processing. Here we are in front of the Raging Bull outside of Wall Street. This indicates a bull market, which means a market that's going up. Raging Bull right there. So here we are in front of the Boomer Casino, I mean the stock market exchange right here in New York City, city on Wall Street right here. Just kidding about being the Boomer Casino.
All right, guys, just some quick information about New York City here. It does have a population of 8.3 million in the city. It's made up of five boroughs, and those five boroughs are Staten Island, the Bronx, Queens, Brooklyn, and Manhattan. We are currently in Manhattan right now. If you include the entire metropolitan area population, it's around 23 million people, making it the largest city in the United States. If you look up right behind me there, you can see One World Trade. It used to be two towers known as the Twin Towers. They came down. Now they have one big tower known as One World Trade. Look way up there. You have a North Pool and a South Pool, which commemorates each tower. Oh, and if you guys are enjoying this travel guide from New York City, please consider subscribing to this channel, turning on the bell to get notified every time we make a new video, and also like the video if you guys enjoy videos like this. This here behind me is the shops at Oculus. Let's go inside. New York was originally set up as a Dutch trading post at the southernmost point of Manhattan Island. In 1664, it was acquired by the British and renamed New York. All right, guys, we are headed to Times Square right now, so we'll be pulling up there right about now. Alright, we've made it to Times Square. Let's walk around. Is, uh, it's a plant. It's green and people smoke it. That's what you smell a lot of down here. And it's just been legalized. You guys get the idea. All right, so New York City has several nicknames. The Big Apple, 
Gotham, the city that never sleeps. But in case you're wondering why it's most commonly referred to as the Big Apple, is because back in the old days, they had racetracks here. And this was a place where people would come from the South and all over America to come here and uh, bet on the races. But also, because back in the old days, a big red apple on your desk was considered the best thing you could have uh, for a meal. So a big red apple, and that's why New York got its nickname, uh, the Big Apple. For those of you who don't know why it's called Times Square, it's called that after the New York Times Magazine publication. One of the things to do when you come out to New York is to do rooftop bars. As you can see behind me, there's a long line to go up to that rooftop. All right, it's dinner time. We're gonna eat outside here at Andrew's Diner. Now I realize not all of you guys are beer drinkers, but if you are, this right here is a Brooklyn Lager. It comes out of a bottle. I prefer it on draft, but if it's coming out of a bottle with that much carbonation, I'm happy. And it's good. So you know when you come to New York, there's so many different foods you can try. Pizza, Philly cheesesteaks, cheesesteaks, whatever you like. I got a panini. This is an Italian panini. Uh, I can already tell by looking at it, it's going to be really good, bomb.com, so uh, let's get started. Chips. So as you can see right behind me is the Empire State Building. It was completed in 1931. It stands at about 1,450 feet tall if you include that big tall spire that's at the top. But if you want to go up to the roof, you're going to be sitting at around 1,250 feet. Now the Empire State Building is named after the Empire State, which is New York, hence the American Empire. So here we are on 8th and West 34th. You can see Madison Square Garden and Penn Station, Pennsylvania Station. So along 34th Street right here, 9th Avenue and 34th is where I'm standing right now. If you look right over here, you can see the Hudson Yards area. That's where we're going. This is a new area they're featuring in New York City. So when you come out here, yes, you're gonna go to Times Square. Yes, you're gonna go to One World Trade. Yes, you're gonna go check out the Brooklyn Bridge. But you're also gonna check out Hudson Yards.
I got a Tex-Mex omelet. It was actually really cheap, only $7 for breakfast. Six, some of them were between $5 and $7 just for breakfast downtown Manhattan. That's a really good price. All right, if you guys look right behind me, you can see the Brooklyn Bridge and the Manhattan Bridge. Underneath there is Dumbo, down under the Manhattan Bridge overpass is what that stands for. That's Brooklyn right over there, okay? So Brooklyn Bridge, Manhattan Bridge, and uh, if you guys want to go over to Brooklyn, that's how you get there. So this beer here is a Coney Island Lager. Pepperoni pizza, huge. So there's the ticket, $2.75. Pretty good price. so we've made it over to Brooklyn now we're gonna walk along this park here you can see they got some beach volleyball going on all the way down to the Brooklyn Bridge out here they got lots of pickup basketball if you walk over here. All right, so this area that we're at is Dumbo. As you can see, there's the bridges. It's underneath the Metropolitan uh, Bridge, Manhattan Bridge or the Brooklyn Bridge, if you want to call it that. This whole area right over here, all this area is Dumbo. All right, guys, let's talk about some interesting facts about New York City. How about this Brooklyn Bridge? It was built in 1883. That's when it was completed. It took 15 years to build this bad boy right here, and it's still up here in 2021. How about this? The Empire State Building gets struck by lightning 23 times per year. There's more women in New York City than there are men, believe it or not. Can you believe that? 
and also uh, Eggs Benedict, Primavera, all comes from New York City. Here's something else. Uh, Einstein, his brain and his eyeballs are all kept in a safe place here in New York City. So lots of interesting facts. Some good, some kind of gnarly, some interesting, but there's much more. And uh, we hope to share some of those a little later on in the video. All right, so you can see by the banner, Dumbo right here, Photoville. So we're officially going underneath the Brooklyn Bridge right now, and we'll be heading out over uh, to the main area of Dumbo. And just in case you're wondering what Dumbo actually means, it's down under the Manhattan Bridge overpass. All right, guys, here we are at Central Park, which is actually the largest urban park in all of the world. So big old park right here. I don't think you guys fully realize how big it is until you walk it. Let's go look around. So I'm gonna get a iced coffee and a Nutella banana crepe. Mmm. A Nutella crepe. I'm just eating with my hand. Hope you guys don't mind. Because here in New York, that's how you're supposed to do it. If you look directly behind me right there, you can see that's the Swedish castle.
So here we are in Central Park. The interesting thing about this park is it's actually the largest uh, urban park, city center park in all of the world. It's really big. But also here's another interesting fact that you guys didn't know. New York City gets more snow than the South Pole. I think they said by 15 times. Wow. Also, the Empire State Building, when it was built, it was the tallest building in the world at the time. People who come to Central Park, they come here to relax and get out of the chaos of the inner city. Uh, you can see they have rock terraces like this, viewpoints, parks, inside of parks, walking trails that make you feel like you're almost in nature completely and out of the city, when in reality you're really right in the middle of the uh, urban concrete jungle. But uh, yeah, you can see lots of different activities going on, sports, carriage rides, really a nice place. Right next to Central Park is Fifth Avenue. If you go straight down south on uh, Fifth Avenue, you end up in downtown Manhattan. But right here, you know, you have 30 Rock, Trump Tower, and you also have Saks Fifth Avenue. And right above me here you have Trump Tower. So New York City is experiencing a building boom, but something tells me that New York City always has construction going on, because many of these buildings are definitely undergoing some sort of facelift, and it just seems to happen in Brooklyn, Manhattan, all across the cities. If you guys like to explore different cathedrals and churches across America, one place you'll find a lot of different beautiful cathedrals. Some of the best you'll find anywhere in the United States, right here in Manhattan, in particular on Fifth Avenue. This one right here is called St. Patrick's Cathedral. Look at the construction on that building. If you look right over my shoulder here, you see Christian Dior. That's the Saks Fifth Avenue building. Here we are in front of the Atlas statue outside of 30 Rock, Rockefeller Center. This right here is the Greek god Atlas.
All right, so here we are at 30 Rock, Rockefeller Center. Go right over here. This is where it all goes down. All you uh, NBC fans, Radio City Music Hall, all that right here at 30 Rock. Right next to the Comcast building here at Rockefeller Center is the Today Show for NBC News. All right, let's go to the top of the rock and show you guys what it looks like at the top of Rockefeller Plaza. Now, general admission to get into the uh, top of the rock 360 degree city view observation deck is about 36 to 38 dollars depending on the day and the time. If you wanted VIP access, it's 75 dollars per ticket, and if you wanted a full tour of Rockefeller Center, it's 25 dollars. For many people that I've asked, they consider the top of the rock to be the top thing to do in all of New York City. So. If you can get up there and there's not a lot of lines, take advantage of it because during peak season, the top of the rock, it's top of the list for people coming out here. <laughs> I mean, just look at these views. And right across the street from Rockefeller Plaza is Radio City Music Hall. chicken tikka masala and we got some naan coming this here is an example of all of the food trucks you, you can see they got the hot dogs the Philly cheese and if you look over here they have the pretzels even if you come over here, they've got fresh squeezed juice, energy, immune booster, and then they have euros and halal food. All right, here we are in Greeley Square. This area is known as Midtown Manhattan. going to do here is go over to Penn Station and check out the rail lines to see where they go and just kind of show you guys around underneath Madison Square Garden. From here you can really get to many different places. You can see Trenton, which is New Jersey, Long Branch, Dover, well, lots of different access points from Pennsylvania Station. Penn Station.
And if you're gonna ride Amtrak, you can do that here at Monihan Station, right here. And here you can get the Long Island Railroad. So you have Long Island Railroad, New Jersey Railroad, you have the Amtrak, all out of this Penn Station here. This here is old historic Richmond in Staten Island. Central Station. They say it's new and improved. Let's go see. All right, so this is the main concourse here at Grand Central. Alright guys, so here we are going to Brighton Beach, Coney Island, on the subway. It's going to take about an hour from downtown Manhattan. All right, here we are down at Brighton Beach. We're gonna see if we can get uh, some food, see what else is out here. Let's do it. All right, here we are, Brighton Beach. You look directly that way, you have Coney Island.
here's something to know about the beaches out here in New York. As you can see right behind me, we're at Brighton Beach on a real boardwalk. If you take a look at the ground here, you can see those are boards. Most times when you go to these boardwalks in New Age cities, you're not going to get real boards. This is real boardwalk. Anyway, there are a couple beaches. There's Brighton Beach. Right down the road is Coney Island. If you go up north a bit on Long Island, you're going to come across Rockaway Beach. And there's Atlantic Beach, Manhattan Beach. So there are a few beaches. Now, as far as people getting in the water so far, I haven't seen anyone getting in the water. But I know that as it gets really hot, people will, you know, get waist high in that water right there. It's just not uh, the tropical blue color water that people like to swim in. It's kind of murky. It's hard to see. It's uh, just not ideal. It's kind of cold. But there are beaches out here in New York. So when you come down to uh, Coney Island, I highly recommend this place called Ruby's. Uh, they hook you up with a nice Coney Island hot dog right here. This beer right here is the Pilsner, the Mermaid Coney Island. All right, guys, we finally made it to Queens. We're at the Botanical Garden. We're gonna walk around here and then some parts around Queens here. So we're trying out the uh, hot spa here before we actually go over to uh, some of the other cooler pools. But really just a nice place to come hang out in Queens.
Here we are outside of Yankee Stadium, built in 2006 in the Bronx. The other side of the river here is Manhattan, but this is actually where the Bronx Bomber and the Yankees, they all come from the Bronx, right here, Yankee Stadium. Right, guys we are now headed back into Manhattan from the Bronx we'll arrive back down in Manhattan here in about 10 minutes Everybody, thanks for watching this episode of Island Hopper TV from New York City. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please consider subscribing and liking the video and watching some of these other travel guides from across America and across the world. See you guys on the next one.